uh, hey, uh, a couple weeks ago, I sent out a survey uh, to all you guys uh, asking you what like the, the hard, things you're struggling with most on the guitar. And I wasn't surprised to see bar chords on there at all. I expected that. But what I was surprised at was the volume of people uh, in uh, the audience of people that follow me on the internet, how many of them still struggle with bar chords on like a regular basis. And that kind of prompted me. I was thinking, man, I should really do something about this. Um, and that's why. And the first thing it made me think about was like, I don't need to create a bigger course for bar chords that's going to really help people kind of put the nail in the coffin with this issue and be able to play the guitar the way they want. Because bar chords are some of the most physically demanding chords you can play on the guitar, but they are some of the most useful chords you can play on the guitar as well. And um, there's some good news that goes along with this too, um, in addition to that, to thinking about doing a bigger course for it. The first piece of good news for you is that if you're struggling with bar chords, you're not alone. It's really common for people that play guitar to have a tough time with them. The second piece of good news is um, since it was such a high volume on that survey, it made me decide to do bar chord week here on uh, the Nate Savage uh, channel and Facebook and all that stuff. So uh, this week you can expect to get three videos from me on bar chords. The first one is this one. I'm just going to start the ball rolling. I'm giving you some tips to get bar chords down and get them to where you, they're not a problem anymore. Um, the second video it's going to be in a day or two, and it's going to give you some more tips, and then we're going to cap the week off with the third video. It's going to be the first bar chords video from the Guitar Foundations course, and I know it's going to help a lot of people. Um, so before I get into the tips, if you know someone that's, someone that's struggling with bar chords, share it with that one person. Share this video with that one person, and maybe they'll get in the sequence of three videos that is really going to help them to be able to play bar chords and use them and finally get past that hurdle. Um, this video is really easy. I have one main tip for you, too. And uh, the main purpose of this video is to get you in a mindset okay, of, okay, in the next two weeks or so, a week or two, I am going to get in a mindset where I'm ready to tackle bar chords and put in some work and put this to rest once and for all. So just get in that mindset. As you think about this video, be watching out for the next one in your inbox. And the tip for this video is to get your guitar set up. Get your guitar set up by a pro. If you don't do that, if you don't know that your guitar is set up really well, and as easy to play as possible without buzzing, then bar chords are going to be hard, especially if you're playing on acoustic guitar. My action is pretty low on this guitar. I would call that low action on an acoustic guitar, but if your action you know, is up here, it's gonna be darn near impossible to play bar chords on a guitar. So don't do that to yourself. Bite the bullet, take your guitar in, get it set up, especially if it's an acoustic, guys. Um, it'll cost you 50, 40, 70 bucks, something like that, but it's going to be worth it and it's going to be a good ground zero for you to start learning bar chords. So that's tip one. And to go along with that, um, if you're used to playing electric or your hand just isn't in shape to play bars, there's no shame in going down a string gauge. I have 12 gauge strings on this acoustic guitar, but if you have trouble playing that and it's just really tough, as a stepping stone, go down to an uh, like a custom light, like an 11 gauge string. There's no shame in that. And if you do that, you're probably gonna have to take your guitar and to get set up, but you need to get it set up anyway. So if it's really tough for you, go down a string gauge to maybe 11s. If you're on electric and you're on 10s, go down to nine, something like that. There's no shame in that. If you wanna stick with it, that's fine, but you're gonna have to go get your guitar set up anyway, because that's one of the main start. Eight of these ground zero for bar chords. If you don't have your guitar set up well, then everything else is gonna be tougher than it should be, and you're gonna have a hard time. So get in that mindset, get ready to work on some bar chords this week with the three videos that are coming out. Look for the next video in your inbox in the next couple of days. And if you're one of those people who's just always had major problems with bar chords, book a private lesson with me on natesavage.com. The first one is always complimentary, so there's no risk or obligation, just lots of fun learning in a relaxed environment. Share this video with one person and get ready to work on some bar chords later this week. See ya.